A while back, we covered an open source tool by a popular AI YouTuber, Cole Medin, known for exploring cutting edge AI models and tools. Recently, Cole and his community have taken things to the next level with the beta release of Archon OS, the first ever operating system for AI coding. Archon OS serves as the knowledge and task management backbone for your AI coding assistant. Previously, Archon, as we all know, was known for its all-in-one AI toolset for building agents. Now, it's been repositioned as a command center for AI coding assistants. It features a sleek modern interface to manage knowledge, context, MCPs, and tasks across your projects. With Archon, you can connect tools like Claude Code or Kiro, Cursor, or others to give your AI agents access to advanced documentation, advanced rag search, integrated task management, as well as real-time updates. But essentially, Archon is your AI coding assistant's full command center that will enhance any code base, new or existing, with powerful knowledge and task management. And to showcase it in action, just take a look at this demo that Cole had recorded. And I'll leave this full link in the description below as well, because it's really interesting. He essentially created this land graph news aggregation agent. And you can see that within the Archon UI, it is formulating all the different task lists. So with this Archon OS, you're going to be able to visualize the task list of the agent working in live action. So you get a good understanding of the task that is being worked upon. And what's great is that you have the ability to actually edit these individual tasks in real time. So your coding agent can actually get responses live in actions in real time based off the task description that you edit. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. In short, this is an open source tool and it's like a mission control for your AI coding assistant that organizes your project knowledge lets your AI search and understand it, trace different sorts of tasks, and keeps everything updated in real time. No matter what coding tool you use, your AI is going to work smarter and produce better results, which is why you would want to use Archon. And not only that, you have this UI that lets you chat and visualize what the agent is actually doing. Now, if you're looking to get started, there's a couple of prerequisites that we're going to need to have fulfilled beforehand. You're going to need to make sure you have Docker Desktop installed, Supabase, for the database, get the clone the repository, VS Code to configure certain components. And then you have an option to either use Olama, OpenRouter, or OpenAI, as well as Gemini. Now, you have a lot of different options, obviously, for the model provider that you can power your AI agents with. But if you want to use a local model, that is definitely an option that you can use to connect with Archon. But go ahead and have these prerequisites fulfilled once you have done so. You want to go ahead to this repository, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Open up your command prompt, and I want you to go ahead and clone this repo. Once you have cloned this repo, you want to head into the Archon uh, directory. And once you have done that, we can then configure the environments. This is where you want to go ahead and copy the environment variables. And then you want to edit the ENV and add your Supabase credentials, as well as the model provider that you want to use. And once you have copied the environment variables, you can open up the folder within your IDE. I'm using VS Code. And to do so, just click on File and then click on Open Folder and find wherever you had cloned the Archon repository. Head over to the .env that you just copied. And this is where you're going to need to now fill out these different fields, like the Supabase URL for the database and the other configurations that are stated here. Next is the database setup. This is where within Supabase, you want to go over to the actual project that you've created, head over to the SQL editor. Now, what they have stated is head over to the migration complete setup.sql file. You want to copy, paste, and execute the contents of this file within the actual editor that we have within our database. So this is where I have pasted in all the contents from that file, and I can simply go ahead and click on run. And once it has finished, you're going to see that it has succeeded. Now, once you have installed Docker, what you want to do is open up Docker Desktop. This is pretty important, so make sure you go ahead and have it running in the backend. And to confirm that it is running, make sure you open up your toolbar 
and you'll see the Docker desktop icon running within the background. And once it is running in the background, you can start the services by copying this Docker compose command within your command prompt and then paste it in and it will start installing and setting up everything. Since I have Docker running right now, I'm going to go ahead and click enter and you can see that it's going to start building all the contents for Archon to be functional. This starts the core microservices, the server, the core API and the basic logic, the MCP server, the agents, which will be coming soon, as well as the UI. All the ports are configurable. And then now I can go ahead and open up the local host once it has finished uh, configuring and setting up everything. And essentially, once that is done, I can then set the API keys as well within the settings tab to set my LLM, the embedding provider, and then set the API key. And there we go. Just like that, Archon is now running with everything now functioning. The server, agents, UI, and the MCP. What you want to do first is get started. Select the provider of whatever model you want to use. And you can see right now there's only three options. But in the back end, you can configure it so that you can use something like Open Router. Then go ahead and simply provide the API key. And now what you will see is that the API keys are now functioning and loaded within the right hand panel over here. Now, in terms of the rack settings, you can set the LM provider, the chat model, and then you can even specify the embedding model. Now, you can also use contextual embeddings as well. So you can enable this. You can configure the crawling performance settings as well as the storage performance settings for code execution. You can configure things like the code block length as well as advanced settings. And then at the bottom, you have bug reporting. But if you scroll all the way back, you can enable projects and task fun functionality. You also have the ability to enable the dark mode, pydantic, log fire, as well as disconnecting from the screen. Now, what you can also do is if you head over to the MCP server, this is where you can have this configured with different tools like Klein, Kiro, Augment, Cloud Code. You just need to simply copy the code and have it implemented within the JSON file of that coding agent. And this way you'll be able to connect the agent to the actual Archon dashboard. Now within the knowledge base tab, you have it so that you can have a unified knowledge base that all of your agents can access in real time. So you can upload different knowledge types from technical coding code bases. You have business projects, URL websites, or even just simply uploading various URLs. And this is where you can add the source and have it so that all your agents can access it in real time. So for example, if I go ahead and upload the next.js docs, I can have the AI agent crawl the website and recursively provide knowledge to my AI agent without me going ahead and providing my own knowledge base constantly. This is similar, but even better than something like context seven, which will provide updated documentation to the agents. Now, next up is the project management tab. This is where if you click on the Archon logo, this is where you can manage all of your different projects. This is the OS I was talking about, the agent UI that will showcase what is happening with your project, all the individual tasks that are being uploaded, the actual backlog, the things that are in progress, things that you can actually review through the agent UI. And then it'll also showcase the complete docs of what has happened as well as what has been completed. This is a way for you to get a good visual understanding of what the agent is doing in real time. So all the edits will be shown and all the edits that you want to make could be implemented directly over here for each individual agent that you deploy with Archon. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Archon. This is an impressive AI commander that will enhance your AI coding agents. This is something that I highly recommend that you use for whatever agent that you're using because you can easily set this up and I'll provide all the docs and links that will easily help you with setting anything up related to the Archon OS in the description below. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.